All right, folks, if you're watching this, then you're probably like me and you're trying to figure out where the fish at, all right? So I'm going out for redfish, snook, and trout. And I'm throwing everything, guys. I'm throwing live bait, I'm throwing fake bait, I'm throwing top water, I got suspension, I got some bottom weedless rigs, I got uh, spoons, heck, spoons, I'm throwing forks and knives. I'm throwing uh, Twizzlers and, and shoelaces. So I'll throw whatever. And I think what the problem is, is all this stuff that I'm throwing out are not where the fish are at. How about that for some logic? All right, so today we're gonna talk about finding the right spots. I'll show you some things that I picked up, some things that I think I've got figured out. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. But we'll, we'll try a few things and then we'll take it out and test it out on the water. So first things first, let's check a few things out online, all right? So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna determine whether or not I'm even gonna go fishing, all right? And I look at, um, at a couple of things. One of the things I'm looking at is this Fishing Points app. It's on my phone. It's a, it is a subscription-based thing. I think it costs uh, $9.99 for the subscription. And uh, it gives you some GPS information as well as tides, uh, solunar, and uh, some weather stuff and all that kind of thing. All right, so um, one of the things that's that's kind of cool with this is that you can track you know, your GPS and where you were trolling and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it can also uh, show you you know, some history of, of what you caught and where you caught it. If you log it, it's kind of a log book of, of what you caught and what the conditions were when you did that. I haven't had a whole lot of need for that because quite frankly, I haven't been catching a whole lot of fish. But what I am using this app for right now is uh, some of their predictive stuff where it's telling me, uh, you know, the fish activity and the feeding times. So here you can see um, that on this day, saying that the fish activity is going to be high and uh, these are the times that you should be out there um, because that's when the feeding times are and then uh, there's also tide predictions as well as uh, the seven day detailed weather forecast uh, honestly i don't know how reliable this weather is uh, so i still use the weather channel app that uh, tracks everything and uh, gives me a detailed radar look so I can see uh, what's going on. Next, I go to Google Earth. And if we look at Google Earth, this is Cockroach Bay. And I figure Cockroach Bay must have been named by fishermen that did not want other people going there. And so they named it Cockroach Bay so people would be like, that's disgusting, I'm not going there. But it has delicious fish. So we're going there. Now you can see lots of people here fishing, all right? Got boats all lined up. Over here is a boat launch, and this over here is a little kayak launch. Very user-friendly for kayaks, good place to be, all that kind of stuff. So I was out with a buddy, and he catches tons of fish, and he told me, he said, dude, fish are lazy. They aren't gonna work really hard if they don't have to. So you need to pay attention to the tides and what the fish are going to hang out and where they're going to do because you know they're going to go where it's easy all right so something that that i saw is as the tide was going out all right so if we look over here and let's say the tide's going out up here where this says beacon key that's north and then you know this is coming down south so uh, from left to right right now is is north to south all right how do i stop that i want it to stop okay okay we'll do that too all right so if the water is coming out if the if the tide's going out then all of the water is, is moving this way right and as it's moving that way it's um the fish are getting hung up on these points, right? They're getting hung up where where it's gonna be easy for them. They don't wanna to have to fight and try and stay on this north side. They wanna take it easy and rest on on something like this, where where the water's coming out and there's a, a point for them to rest right here. And as the bait swims in there, then that's also where they're gonna they're gonna feed. Okay, because the bait's coming in. So one of the things that I want to try out is 
watching where the direction of the tide and and fishing uh, where the, those bait fish are going to get hung up and also you know where the where the redfish and snook and everything are going to be resting at i also want to look at uh the the bottom thing is the same thing right this is the road version right so if we look at the aerial view right now you see something a little different okay so you see that that texture the contour here uh to the bottom that's some of the stuff that i'm looking at so i also want to um I've had a little bit of success doing this is set up and drift this area and drift this area uh, because if I just spend some time with you know casting into this space there's gonna be some fish hung up here I'm pretty sure and uh, we're gonna check that out as well all right so I want to you know see if we can get something there uh, work the, the contour and you know depending on which way the wind and the currents going I'll set up and just drift that all right, so now we have a little bit of a game plan. Next, we'll meet up at the Roach, see if any of this works. 